All right, hello, another video. Got another car project going on, as always. Car projects, car projects, car projects. What am I doing here on my Impala is, this is an oil pressure sender, and this is that special little socket you buy because in the back of the engine, it's pretty tight back there. And like the oil sender is basically, See that little, uh, I'm trying to get it, hold on. Um, you see it right there. You see this, try to point to it, get my finger in the frame. See it right there, looks like a little hex thing. That's where the oil pressure um, sender screws into. So, you need that little socket so you can get behind the uh, valve cover and the firewall, which is kind of tight. Because on this thing, Right, I should really tell you why I'm even doing this. Well, I did this before, but the way I had it, you have to get a little adapter. And uh, how I did this was ghetto because this is a quarter inch right here. And um, inside that piece that I showed you was a uh, eighth inch and it's national pipe thread. So you need an adapter. So you can really get an adapter like that. These are really hard to find after like looking for uh, years. I finally found someone who sells these for cheap. So I got one of those. I originally had this deal. I found this in my um, garage. This was a quarter to an eighth um, female reducer. I don't know what this thing is for. It was weird. I found it in the boiler room. Anyway, and then I purchased this adapter. It's just um, an eighth, double eighth uh, male national pipe thread. I screwed it in. I screwed it in like this. So um, it was my reducer, but I had an extra uh, joint right there. This is just um, this is just one fixed thing. I think well, this is weird too, because there's so much area in here with oil would collect. I think the gauge wasn't as accurate because oil is just flowing back and forth over here. This is going to be a lot smaller distance between the uh, reducing area. And this is just gigantic. Just look in there, look at that. And this too. It's too, it's too long. So I think it wasn't as accurate as it's going to be now. And I had another joint to uh, leak. So I got that thing out. This thing was a real pain because it was kind of stuck in there. So I used uh, had to use some force to get it out because it came apart, you know, of course, in two pieces. Because this was, this was, uh, hold on one second. This adapter was screwed on like that. And then I had this one screwed in right here. So of course, when I'm backing off on this, you know. This middle piece is gonna back off and that's gonna stay stuck on the engine. So, we got that off. And to make that easier, I just removed my EGR valve. This is the uh, six speed one, six speed manual GM for the uh, Camaro. Kind of fixed the uh, stock one. The stock one's kind of weak and doesn't last as long. I remember like 30,000 miles, my car was bucking because it was shot. Well, I just slipped on something. So, that's how you do that. Full adapters. Also on our Chevy small block, speaking of uh, oil adapters, I mean oil pressure senders, on the 87 and up, see the center bolt motor, 87 and up. It has it, uh, it's going to be tapped back there, as I just showed you. I can't really freaking see, it's so hard. Get shot at. Okay, so right there you see it in like the upper left of the frame. And uh, that piece right there will be tapped, or it can be plugged, and that's one of your oil ports. And then down here, down there, next is the oil filter. It's another uh, hole that can be tapped, but it's plugged off in this car. Anyway, in the earlier cars, it is, um, well, the hole in there is um, quarter inch national pipe thread. So, to make that work, you can either buy, well, the sender actually, the sender for those cars, a little bit longer over here because it steps out by the oil filter. So what you could do is you buy this oil sender when they go bad, which actually in my other car it is kind of bad. It's, it's a little uh, flaky. It jumps around. Anyway, you can buy that, this uh, sender right here. This cost about maybe 30 bucks, this sender that's enclosed in the socket. I'll show you later maybe if I take it out. Um, so i got to pop it out. It stays in there pretty tight. Anyway, this is 30 bucks. has a short end. And the one that um, screws into the oil filter, it goes this way in the engine. And um, well, if you look at it underneath, you'll see it going this way, right above the oil filter. 
It's basically on 87 through uh, 93 cars. Anyway, with that, it has a little longer edge, and that Sender X costs $50, and these cost 30 bucks. And you know what you can do, and we'll make it work. See, I have these fittings over here. It's a quarter inch um, National Pipe Thread female, the quarter inch National Pipe Thread male. So what you can do, see right here, you can screw it right there. And there's your adapter to make it longer. And this distance isn't really that big, so it's not going to hit that little step. This little step right there as the oil filters around. So there you go, you save money that way. I'll show you that later when I install it in my other car. But it's pretty cool. You know, you gotta save money because it's crazy. You want $50 for this thing, and it's just a little bit longer. So you can just use your adapter here, which costs about a dollar, and um, make it longer. <laughs> and these are good too. Also, if you want to put aftermarket gauges in, you can use that for it. It's not used on this engine, the LT1. And um, you can screw it in, and it spaces out from the block. Instead of being right next to the block, you have a little bit of distance. So your wires won't burn or nothing like that. So, that's a little tip on what the hell I'm doing today. So, I gotta put this thing back on, put a little dread sealant. I'll just use a little RTV, it'll be fine. RTV around there, a little RTV in there. Screw it in, put that over there, and see if my gauge is any more accurate. So, I hope so. Originally, these things are just a, uh, a dummy dummy gauge. And, oh, yeah. See that? Look how clean that brake fluid is. I, I, uh, this is the other car I did my brake fluid on. I didn't have any problems with this. Look at that AT brake fluid, and that is so clear. That stuff looked like motor oil before. That was disgusting. So, we're doing stuff. I gotta take down this camera and uh, finish this thing up. Pop that easy oil valve back on the sender. And I'll be ready to rock. So, that's it. Bye.